people of the Niger Delta region that are the golden hen that lays the golden egg. We support the removal of subsidy from this refined product because of the fraud that have always been affiliated to the subsidy programs. But on that note, we also appeal to Mr. President that the money that was supposed to be used to subsidize the refined product should be used to revamp our refineries. Our refineries. In the Niger Delta region, we have two refineries. We have the one of Wari, and we have the one of uh, um, Potakot. And if you say if we are in support of the labor for protesting, fine, the labor, they have their right. We as a people, we have our pains too. And we strongly believe that Mr. President is listening and he knows that doing the right thing will assist him to engrave his name in the landmark of development in the nation at large. So we strongly believe that the 8,000 naira that have been stepped down for 12 million Nigerians home should be stepped down. And the proposed funds for palliative should be diverted into revamping our refineries. And the people appointed from that region are capable. They understand the terrain of the region. For example, the former governor of River State, Yose Wike, who is a developer, who understands the terrain in the Niger Delta, and you see what he did in River State. Somebody like that, we know is going to perform very, very well. He has passion for development, including Stella Okotete and uh, Better. These people have passion to develop. So we believe that any ministry they have, they are going to act impact in this hope agenda of Mr. President. Uh, John Eno from Cross River State 2 is another good product. In fact, the President Debo, the one of the best in the Niger Delta region, in this is cabinet, and we believe that the President will not regret. These people are going to perform very well. It's the expectations of the new hope given to us by Mr. President. And in line with that hope, we are very confident of the nominees, the ministerial nominees, Mr. President Bola Tinibu has already made. And these are leaders that we know within our region that are performance. So with the, with the challenges we are having within our region, we know that they know the region even better as chief executive officers of the state, and they are going to deliver as expected. So the situation we have now is of hope. And we believe that with the nominees made by Mr. President, there is not going to be going back, but more progress and, and practical development for the region. Thank you.